Mr. President, the world population is growing and so is energy demand. It has been suggested that a fundamental solution is needed to stop climate change, stabilize population growth, and satisfy an energy-hungry world. It is physically impossible for solar, wind, hydro, geothermal, tidal, and biomass to generate enough power to meet even our current energy needs without destroying the environment in the process. A technology that is gaining popularity is called the liquid fluoride thorium reactor. This will cost 50% less than current reactors manufactured today. This reactor is also impossible to melt down, does not require expensive fuel fabrication, is proliferation resistant, generates one thousandth the amount of waste a typical U.S. reactor produces, and this waste only lasts 300 years instead of 10,000. As of 2007, a large group of nuclear physicists and engineers have created the Thorium Energy Alliance, which seeks to build a $600 million liquid fluoride thorium reactor proof of concept, which can then be mass produced by corporate entities and sold worldwide. This technology is also being actively pursued in France and Japan, which expects the first reactor of this type to come online in 2014. Why is the United States government not funding this kind of groundbreaking technology that has the potential to bring cheap, clean, safe electricity that will stop climate change and power the entire world for thousands of years? Thank you.